welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is grace make sure you definitely subscribe down below for today's video i'm doing a highly requested video from you guys so you guys know i travel a lot on cruises if you're new here i cruise a lot with my family and so i've been getting tons of requests for cruise videos cruise vlogs and especially what to pack or what to bring on a cruise for first timers i know it can be kind of like oh my god what do i bring because you're going like basically onto a hotel in the middle of the ocean and it's not like you can really leave if you forget something so what i did was i put together a list for you guys and i'm just going to give you guys some of my tips what i pack i'm just going to like read off my list to you guys and then some of my essentials to have just for being by the pool or that type of thing this um video is geared toward if you're going on like more of a tropical cruise because i haven't gone to alaska since i was like literally a baby I think so I've never like been there that I remember so we, my family does want to do that next summer I think though but um this video is just geared towards if you're going to like the Caribbean or somewhere where it's more warm like Hawaii something like that so the first thing I always start out by doing for any of my trips is making a packing list so this is my packing list like notebook um, if you've watched any of my other packing videos, you've probably seen this notebook in it. So basically, what I like about having, like, a physical thing instead of doing it, like, in my phone is that I can look back onto all my other cruises. So what I did was I went back to my cruise from over the summer and from last, um, Christmas that I was on it. And I just went through the list. Let me find it. So right here's my old one i went through my list and i was like okay i don't really need those i never wear those or i don't need this many of that so then i can make my new list so this is what it looks like normally my list take up about two pages so if you want to pause it to read um this is the first page and then that's the second page so hopefully you can read it because I kind of do it really fast. So it's not the best writing, but I'm going to start out with just reading through my list and giving you guys some tips and just what I like to bring. So starting out with clothes is obviously what you're going to need the most of. The thing I think most people don't think about fully when they're going on cruises is how much clothes you're going to need because you're going to be changing a lot. So not necessarily like you need a lot of pairs of clothes, but you're going to be changing outfits most likely two to three times a day at least plus you have your dinners so there isn't formal night dinners every single night on a cruise normally if it's about a week of a cruise then you might have like two formal nights but for my family personally we like to like dress up nicely every night we don't go to really the buffet at night that type of thing and for the dining room there is a dress code so you can't just wear like shorts and a t-shirt like if you're a girl or like you can't wear your swimsuit and flip-flops in there for sure i do bring like dresses or rompers that type of thing for every night except for the first night because the first night you get on the ship some people won't have their bags yet so they just dis um disregard the dress code in the dining room so you don't have to worry about getting ready the first night going into it i have three pairs of jean shorts so normally i like to bring like a white pair and then maybe like two denim pairs and just have those I can wear those with multiple outfits if it's like a seven day cruise and yeah so three pairs of shorts is about fine if you're going on like a week even if you're going on like a two week cruise maybe four pairs but again shorts are something that you can wear multiple times before they're really like dirty so you don't need too many pairs and then I have down two pairs of workout shorts because depending on excursions, if you don't know what excursions are, basically when you get to the islands you're traveling to, there are activities you can sign up for to do. So if you want to go like hiking or into like caves or that type of thing, you're going to want some workout clothes um, because you're not going to be allowed to wear like, you're not going to want to wear jean shorts on a work, on like a hike, I'm sure. So I always say to bring at least one pair of workout shorts and definitely bring a pair of tennis shoes because you never know so i have down two pairs of workout shorts because i know for a fact we're doing a hike in jamaica to a waterfall so that's gonna be really fun and then um i might go to the gym a few times so i can just rewear my shorts like i said 
Then I have down one pair of cropped leggings. Leggings aren't something you can need a lot of. Um, if anything, you might wear them at night if you're a little bit cool colder. But I'm also planning on pairing... I'm planning on wearing a pair of leggings on the plane, so that gives me one more pair. So basically I will have two pairs, and leggings I can get about two wears out of. So that technically gives me like four wears of leggings. So yeah, just one pair of cropped leggings I put. I put down one pair of jeans. Again, you don't know if there's going to be a night where it's cooler on the ship. Um, I know personally I have ended up wearing my jeans at least once or twice on cruises um after like changing out of my dinner clothes so i do think bringing one pair of jeans that you like and that go with everything is a good idea then i have down two to three pairs of t-shirts now this is just because i'm not a huge t-shirt person but if you like wearing t-shirts like during the day um versus like crop tops or tank tops then definitely bring more t-shirts you want to gear it towards what you wear more but i put down two or three t-shirts and then i put down like crop tops and tanks as like I didn't even give a number because I know I'm probably going to be changing my shirt at least three times so like in the morning I'm just going to give you like a scenario I will wake up I will put on a swimsuit and then put on like a little dress cover-up type thing and and my cover-ups are just like flowy dresses they're not like real cover-ups but I'll put on like a cover-up type thing or I will put on like shorts and a loose tank top that way if I want to go in like to the the um, buffet you can't go in in your swimsuit so you always need to have a change of clothes to put over your swimsuit so um normally I will throw something like that over but then after I'm gonna want to change out of my swimsuit and change into some dry clothes so then maybe I'll change into a different pair of shorts and a different tank top if that makes sense so you just want to have enough options to be changing because if you are like by the pool all day and your clothes that you wear starting in the beginning of the day are going to get wet once you put them back on so you're going to want to change out of them and i know sometimes even i have um packed an extra pair of clothes in my little backpack which i will sh show you guys later but i've packed an extra pair of like clothes in my backpack just so i can change and not have to go all the way back to my room and then i just put like casual dresses um like I said, the type of dresses I like to wear like over swimsuits. And then I have down six nice outfits. So I haven't picked out them yet, but it'll probably be like two rompers and maybe like two dresses. And and then I have down one jean skirt. And then I have down two sets of PJs. So whether you wear like PJs or t big t-shirts. So I'm going to bring two big t-shirts. Then you don't want to forget underwear, bras, or socks. Socks or something you don't need very many pairs of again because you're most likely going to be in like flip-flops. So, unless you're a guy, then you might need socks, more socks for, like, formal nights, but those are also different kinds of socks. So, um, I have down three pairs of socks. Again, those can be worn, like, twice if I need to. Um, then I have down swimsuits. I didn't put a number for this because I'm a big swimsuit girl. Like, I literally have so many. If you guys want to see a swimsuit collection, I can definitely film one because I have so many swimsuits. But, um, swimsuits are something you're also probably going to at least change twice or three times a day depending now if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise one thing you guys do need to be aware of is the flow riders so flow riders are basically like little surfing machines and um, like boogie boarding that type of thing and if you are planning on doing it you need to have a flow riding swimsuit is what I call it so your girls you're not gonna be able to wear like a strapless bikini because I'm telling you now it will fall off so I have designated flow riding bikinis because I don't really actually I do have one one piece now um that I got for 4th of July so I could bring that but um it's kind of low cut, so I still kind of think I would be afraid of it. You basically, you just want to make sure if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise that has a flow rider, I think most of them do, um, that you're wearing a very secure bikini top or a very secure one piece that is high rise so you don't have to worry about anything being shown. And same thing with your bottoms. Bottoms are a little bit harder because, I mean, depending on how you fall off, they could just fall off even guys have that problem so bottoms um i would just pick a tight pair that aren't very loose and don't just a swimsuit that you know is secure so if you're planning on doing the flow rider it won't come off um and then i have down a pair of waterproof shoes so i have my waterproof birkenstocks my normal birkenstocks and then i'm bringing my tevas because of again that hike we're going on you have to have like water shoes so i'm bringing my tevas and then 
going into the formal night list of things I have down my jewelry my everyday jewelry my I'm bringing one little like clutch purse type thing a pair of heels at least um, if you like to wear heels and then your dresses or your formal clothes whatever you're planning on wearing so make sure you just plan out everything and again you don't need to overpack um, for formal nights you just pack the amount of dresses you need and then going into makeup I'm not gonna read off my whole makeup list because everyone's makeup routine is different but I basically put down my whole makeup routine here and yeah so that's all my makeup and then let's see going into my second page I have down all my toiletries so I have down my face wash um, I, I like to bring my own shampoo and conditioner in your cabin bathroom they do provide shampoo and conditioner but I just like to keep using my own just because my hair can get like really dry um, if I switch to other ones so I like to keep my hair the same especially since you are like in the chlorine and salt water it's gonna affect your hair even more so I just like to keep my hair healthy while I'm gone and if you guys need a really good shampoo and conditioner, the one I like to use when I travel is the Sun Bum. I love the Sun Bum shampoo and conditioner. I think it's really geared towards obviously being in the sun and just having really dried out hair from the water. So I really like using that one when I travel. I used it um, on my senior trip and it helped my hair so much. So I'm going to get that one again for this trip. You definitely want to make sure you bring shaving cream and your razor because like I said, again, you're going to be in the pool you want to keep your legs nice and fresh, you know. Um, deodorant is a must, especially if you're going somewhere warm. You're going to be sweating a lot. Um, definitely bring your lotion and then all your skincare products that you currently use. You want to keep your routine very similar. You definitely want to bring chapstick and preferably a chapstick that has sunscreen in it already. Um, I know like some aquaphors and stuff don't have sunscreen in it and so it can actually be worse for you if you have this on and you're tanning or something because it'll make your lips more prone to getting burnt um then I have down like perfume lotion like I said I put down bug spray on this list now again if you know you're going to be going on like a hike or something um I would bring some bug spray because I'm sure in Jamaica there's lots of bugs in wherever we're going hiking in like the forest and through the waterfall so I put down bug spray and then, um, if you're a girl, don't forget your period necessities, so tampons, pads, whatever you need for that Advil, um, you never know if you're going to start on the cruise, so you want to make sure you're covered for that, especially being, like I said, in the middle of the ocean. And then, the next two things I have are hair tools, so I have a curling iron and a flat iron. I like to use these again when I'm getting ready for dinner at night, just to pull myself together, so normally I give myself, after I have been at the pool, if I have, like, a dinner at five or six um and i'm at the pool all day till like three i'll normally try to get back to my room around 3 30 that way i can shower wash my hair if um normally my hair has to be washed every day when i'm on a cruise because of the chlorine um and the pools or the pools are salt water actually so normally my hair just has to be washed every day because it, it's gross so um Normally I come back around like 3.30 if I have a 5 or 6 o'clock dinner. I wash my hair, shower, I have to blow dry my hair, which for me takes forever. Um, then I do my makeup, and then I do my hair. So it can take a while. So make sure you're giving yourself enough time and make sure you know how much time you need to get ready. Because again, dinners are also set times if you're going into the dining room. So you could have like a 5 or 6 o'clock dinner or you could have like a 7.30, 8 o'clock dinner. It really just depends on like the cruise line and that type of thing but those are something you can be a little late too you can be like 10 minutes late but dining rooms have to be out by a certain time so that way they can get the next group of people in for dinner and then there's also my time dining which is basically you can go from any chunk of time to go eat dinner but you won't have the same server and having the same server every night is super awesome because they know what you like so like sometimes um by like the second or third day my servers will already have like a plate of fruit because they know I like to eat fruit or and they'll have like my water with lemon it's really nice so um having the same server is really awesome so I definitely recommend getting a special time like a specific time if you can instead of my time and then I just have down q-tips advil and your toothbrush and toothpaste so going into some of the other things I'm going to recommend, these are like necessities I think people wouldn't exactly think of 
when they're going on a cruise to bring so I'm just gonna get into these items they're all sitting over here so a lot of these items are like items that you might want while you're by the pool or if you're at the beach something like that um I just think these are things people might forget because they're not like necessities but they're definitely things that are nice to have so the first thing I have is a GoPro I know not everyone can obviously like have a GoPro because they can be expensive but if your family has a GoPro or some type of like waterproof camera, I definitely think you guys should bring it or invest in one to bring on your trip because it's so fun to be able to bring this on your excursions and like your hikes, you're going swimming with the dolphins, whatever you're doing, snorkeling, because obviously you can't always bring your phone if you're going into the water and I wouldn't fully trust like a life proof case if you're going like snorkeling or something so having like some type of waterproof camera is super fun and a great way to capture whatever you're doing the next two things I have are kind of geared towards tanning and like that type of thing so obviously you guys want to make sure you have sunscreen or tanning oil whatever you use um, while you're by the pool but beside from like your sunscreen you want to bring aloe vera because you never know um, normally within the first day most people are kind of getting burnt before they're getting tan which sounds really bad but because a lot of people haven't been in the sun for a while if it's like the winter or if you just haven't been in the sun for a while because it's not summer um you are probably prone to getting burnt if you don't if you're not like being very aware of how much sunscreen you're putting on so i definitely say to bring aloe vera you don't need this big of a bottle but um normally i like to bring just like i'll put some of this into a smaller little like one ounce thing and this is super nice to have because there's just certain areas like shoulders and like your back are prone to getting burnt more and then the next thing I have is after sun mo moisturizing lotion I really really like this stuff um, I started using this after I went to Huntington Beach and basically this is just really nice because it has aloe in it first off and it has vitamin E and this is gonna help turn your burn into a tan faster and help it not peel because one of the things with burns if you just like put aloe vera on it and then you don't let the aloe dry and you forget to put lotion on it's gonna peel instead of tan over so this kind of has you covered for both and this is just by the brand banana boat I think um, Sunbum also sells one of these as well but that's just the one I found at Target so the next few things I have again are just geared to something you should bring some type of headphones um, if you don't have airpods you can literally just bring like the ones that come with your iPhone or any headphones in general just I wouldn't bring like big chunky ones but if you like to tan by the pool these are super awesome to have because again sometimes um, you just want to listen to your own music or listen to a podcast whatever and when you're also sitting out in the Sun you're not gonna be able to see your phone screen very well because the Sun is so bright so having like headphones is really nice and then to kind of go with that bringing a book is a super good idea I always bring at least like two books on a cruise because if I'm out there tanning all day I'm gonna want to do something besides just sit there and listen to music so um I think bringing a book this is the one time I actually like to read is on cruises because it's just relaxing and it's fun for me when I'm on a cruise to read something so I'm gonna be reading the shatter me first two books so I would definitely recommend to bring a book if you're looking for a good book the selection series is literally my favorite ever so yeah and then to go along with tanning as well um a hat you're gonna want a hat because you're not gonna want the sun to be like in your face the whole time while you're trying to read and you're like squinting so bringing a hat is super awesome to have like that and I really like having a um what are these even called why can I not remember the name of this hat it's like a tennis hat you know a visor having a visor is super nice because your hair is still gonna get lightened so yeah, I like wearing visors versus baseball cap. And then again, to go along with that, I have some down sunglasses. So these are just some Ray-Bans. Um, any pair of sunglasses is going to be good to have though. Um, I will literally wear my sunglasses with my visor and then read my book um, by the pool or wherever you're tanning on top of the boat. So um, definitely have some sunglasses though. And even if you're just like sitting in the pool, um, you're going to want sunglasses so your eyes aren't squinting and you're not getting wrinkles. Um, the next thing I have to recommend is a drawstring bag. So this one is from 31. It's personalized. It says Grace. I have a couple of these. 
But um, I also have a waterproof drawstring that Cameron's family actually got me. I don't remember what they got it for me for, but I'm bringing that one on my cruise as well because it's waterproof, so I'm going to bring it on my hike. Um, <clears throat> but having a drawstring bag is literally the best thing to have on a cruise. You do not want to go on a cruise without some type of backpack or drawstring to put your items in. So if you're going down to the pool, you can throw your phone in this, your headphones, your book, your brush, your card. Um, what else? You could throw a change of clothes in here. I've done it many times. So definitely having a drawstring bag and then like at night if you're if you're going into like the teen club or something, again, this is so awesome because you could throw a swimsuit in here in case you guys are planning on like going hot tubbing or something later that night. You don't have to go all the way back down to your room. So I definitely recommend having some type of bag or drawstring backpack, not a purse. A purse isn't going to be ideal. I think these are just really comfortable and easy to use so definitely bring some type of drawstring bag and then going into kind of the whole if you're going to a teen club i would recommend bringing like a speaker a lot of people bring speakers but some people forget but speakers are super nice to have if you guys are just hanging out at night or if you're even just getting ready in your room i like to use my speaker when i'm in the shower and that type of thing so this one's just super small it's from J jbl so it's super easy to pack and bring on the cruise and a lot of times what I've done with this is since it has like this little clip I'll clip it like onto the drawstring bag and then I'll just let it like hang like this and it's so easy to keep on there so yeah and then the last thing I have is a disposable camera um these are just kind of fun you don't really need this this is not like a necessity but this is just kind of a fun thing to have on your trip and then get to expose or get to develop them later on I brought one of these on my senior trip to Huntington and we got the pictures developed and they turned out so cute um in a couple vlogs back I showed them but this is just a really fun way to capture some pictures and it's fun to just see them get developed and like how they look later on so yeah and then a few things I don't have like sitting right here but you're gonna want a lanyard or some type of neck strap or wristlet to hold your cart your key card for the ship um your card to your room is something you always have to have with you um you need it if you're over 18 to get into bars or clubs you need it to be able to get on and off the ship if you don't take your key card off the ship you won't be able to get back on so that is something you don't want to lose it's basically like your passport and also if you're over 18 getting off the ship to ports you want to make sure you also have your id so you want your id and your key card so I just really recommend getting some type of lanyard to hold it that way you don't lose it and then also going with that you're going to need your passport just to be able to get on the ship I'm sure you guys would know that if you're doing the traveling yourself but you need a passport um I also would really recommend a portable charger um especially let me show you guys here's one I have it plugged in right now charging but this is a portable charger and I would really recommend having one of those just again like I said you're not going to be hanging out in your room all day and when you're going around the ship um having a portable charger is nice to have so you don't have to go leave your phone in like a room your room or something or leave it somewhere to charge it's really nice to just have a portable charger so you can get them super cheap like easy ones at like Marshall's even I think so having a charger is super nice to have and i'm trying to think if there's any other things you don't want to forget all your chargers of course i'm also bringing my hydro flask again i'm just bringing that kind of because i already know what excursions we're doing and i want it on the hike but if you want to bring a water bottle you definitely can oh i also recommend to have gum um obviously there's tons of food on the ship so you don't need to bring like snacks but definitely bring gum but i think that is about all the tips i have for you guys on what you should pack and some tips um and then just like the basics obviously if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments um this video is going up on saturday and my cruise leaves sunday so i will try and answer them before i am gone but then i'm going to be gone for a week and i won't have the best service i might have service in some ports and i think i do get one day of wi-fi on the ship because of my status yeah that is about it if you guys have any questions like i said leave them down below or leave any other comments of videos you want to see from me i'm planning on filming a bunch of videos for this cruise and i'm vlogging it as well as well as i will also have like a travel diary so make sure you guys are staying tuned make sure you're subscribed down below and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video or got any good tips from it and yeah i will see you guys in my next video which will be on monday bye guys